Um, the challenge program is a research for development program and um, we have always been interested in trying to develop a format incidentally that's part of the reason why we've always called it a forum as opposed to a conference um, a dialogue format whereby we can uh, bring together both researchers and people in the development arena um, hopefully to be able to learn from each other One of the key things, that, um, anecdotes that, that I recollect from, from when we first started uh, talking about this, and it came from a, a major international, uh, soon after a major international um, uh, event, um, where I had noticed that, that really a lot of the work at the forum, or this conference, seemed to occur around the coffee table. So, so it became... Um, so this this was I mean particularly with respect to the VNTN forum was was really the, our stepping off off point. So the idea was to to try to create this dialogue space um, where these this kind of engagement and, and debate could could occur, and where the emphasis was far less on delivering papers or, or presentations, and far more on dialogue as a vehicle between. Um, research and an eventual developmental impact. And I think that that was um, a, a very key aha moment, was, was watching researchers argue um, with enormous passion about what it was that they want, were doing and the results that they were obtaining, um, and then watching development professionals responding to that. Um, science is also intended to be a passionateless uh, enterprise and, and I don't know that development is especially good at receiving something without passion. In my experience, development professionals want to hear new ideas, good ideas, passionate ideas, um, which science can then respond to. And it doesn't, they're not really all that interested in, in the hardcore scientific stuff that's going on down at, at ground level. And fine, we can go off and do that stuff, but for them, they want to see that there is a legitimate story behind the science and that it's going to impact the people that they're concerned about. The key things here is, is also about, you know, another um, very common critique within science is, that, is, is complaints about the lack of substance and concerns about, you know, you know what, the kinds of nuggets of knowledge that occur within science have to do with robust methodologies or um, w robust conclusions, whereas whereas the development world um, is is much more persuaded by process and engagement and and a lot of the kinds of touchy feely things that that uh, that scientists are very uncomfortable with. Well, this this forum will be very interesting because you you have to remember that that with both the first forums that was that was all CPWF phase one and. In, in this third forum, we have, we have, it's a very different context. We only have six basins on this occasion. We have this uh, multiplicity of, of uh, basin development challenges and, and so on. And yet we're also introducing fairly innovative and new concepts, um, uh, like, for example, the share fair, um, and indeed um, uh, forcing uh, basin leaders to work together in individual forums. Um, um, you know, with the Mekong session, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure in what way us and the Andes are going to uh, tease out uh, um, uh, uh, messages that, that are mutually applicable. Um, we'll just have to see about that. But, but again, uh, that, that's, that speaks very much of, of a, a silo. I, I'm in my Mekong silo. Perhaps uh, Miguel Saravia is in his Andes silo, and we just have to see if, if these things can come together. So it's always been a learning process, and um, every forum has been very, very different in character. Um, and I think that that's the right way to go. You, you can only really learn by doing, and via the experiences that we, we have passed through. Um, and it remains to be seen. We'll, we'll see whether or not this next forum coming up um, gets the equation right, and, and that all the algebra is properly balanced. 
the, the, the point with dialogue is, is that you know, it, it, it is a two-way process. So within, within any conference it's, it's a, or forum, it's a huge challenge to ensure that, that the way in which each session is actually structured allows participation from the floor. Uh, and that's very, very difficult. And what, that was part of the reason that, in fact, this is, has been a tradition throughout all of the uh, forums is the heavy use of facilitators. Um, to ensure that there is an impartial individual within the room who has no interest in either side of the debate and who's guiding the discussion and making sure that everybody from the floor has an opportunity to contribute towards the, the discussion. Now, in some cases, that rebounds. You know, we, I remember from the VNTN forum that we had complaints about being forced to engage. Um, of course, that's, that's, that, that's true. But at the end of the day, you know, if if we are going to derive legitimacy from the impact that our science generates, then we can't really do without dialogue. Okay. So, I mean, I hear things, you know, facilitation, dialogue, uh, working across boundaries, working across uh, disciplines. Are there any other keywords that you, you think define the, the forum spirit? Fun. Fun. Yeah, I mean, both in Addis and in in Vientiane, we, we <clears throat> one of the, the things that we, we we always emphasized was was to try to at the end of a block of sessions was to was it was almost like uh, cleaning the palate was was to provide a, a, a moment of entertainment that had nothing to do with science, had nothing to do with dialogue, and nothing to do with anything. In fact, in many respects, was completely random. In Vientiane, we 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 brought in the, the Russian circus and the Laotian national uh, breakdance team to provide light entertainment. I vividly remember the, 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 um, the marching band in Addis Ababa, which was really very impressive with twirling um, uh, sticks and batons and, and uh, um, boots and drums and everything. It was, it was, it was extremely impressive. And then, of course, uh, one of the, the key things that always happens at the at the forums is the World Dance Night, where we we have we bring in music uh, from all of our basins uh, um, to to try to convey some of the cultural um, context of of the work that we do and and the environments um, in in which we work. So, you know, I think that all of these things hang together very very well and. Uh, in many respects, that the, the the experiment that we embarked on with with these forums was was true to this idea of trying to recreate um, the the cafeteria uh, environment uh, within which so many great innovations, uh, certainly in the 20th century, emerged.